Well, today is MLK Day, and it's also, as I'm sure you're aware, the Republican presidential Iowa caucus, a very big day for the presidential candidate setting the tone. And thus, I want to spend some time looking at the final moments before the Iowa caucus in these presidential campaigns. We'll focus on this segment, Ron DeSantis. And specifically, we'll start with a moment where he gets confronted, um, or he gets trolled, I should say in the form of a guy from the good liars coming up and presenting ron DeSantis with a participation award and says you know you're not gonna win but we're really proud of you here's a participation award our favorite snowflake so pretty brutal um and pointing out that ron DeSantis doesn't really have a chance it seems anymore in this primary but he's still sticking it out <laughs> he's gonna lose with pride or something and with that being said here's this then i'll show you fox host getting into a little bit of a disagreement about this moment but nothing's gonna stop us uh, real quick before we get started thank you everyone governor DeSantis. i want to present to you this participation <laughs> trophy <laughs> now probably not gonna win the election right but we're proud of you for trying participation trophy sorry buddy sorry he's special and he's unique and he's our little snowflake uh, thank you here you go and then he gets taken out of the room and regardless of how you feel about that sort of trolling that sort of mockery the point is true probably all DeSantis is gonna get is a participation award in this primary his polls have just dropped and dropped and dropped it's been fascinating to watch and he came into the primary he announced as a candidate, seen as the second place contender. Could he become competitive with Trump if he kept rising in the polls? And then it was just the exact opposite. He dropped pretty brutally like a, how does Trump word it? A dead bird or something? Um, bird dropping from the sky. And I'd like to believe the reason why Republicans don't like DeSantis as much as they previously did is because they got to know his policy positions and they want a higher character, better policy platformed candidate. But given who they're siding with in large numbers, Trump, that's probably not the case. And it's probably more about Trump's support, more about Republican voters believing Trump is being victimized by the radical left DOJ or something than them realizing that DeSantis is a bad leader and a bad candidate. But I'll pretend in my head that it's because they've realized those things and so they're against him. Then here was a sort of awkward moment on Fox News responding to this moment. I don't think this is funny. I think this is mean. And I'm I don't just like a it. sucker for a, 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 a prank. A deadpan kind of. He walked up there like, seriously, like, here's your participation trial. You know, he didn't break character. Yeah. I just think I he just took thought it was them off funny. guard, and also well, he, not, did, it, he between, did it in front of his wife, tickled, which I didn't like that either. I'm not tickled by it like you are. Like you're really tickled. Well, I was just, by I just giggle. I mean, and I, I'm, and not, I'm certainly not offended. I'm, I'm neither on, on. But I get where she's moment. coming from, having been on the trail, the mountain going, to, and I'll. I've said this a thousand times. I'll say it again. Like I'm a big fan of Governor DeSantis, the governor of Florida, did a fantastic yeah, he's job. An amazing governor. But ultimately, he's not going to win, and, and it's not going to, I think, bode well for him. But. I just thought it was funny. Anyway. Every, I mean, everyone knows he's not going to win in Iowa, so why do you want to just stick the knife in and embarrass him in front of his wife? I don't like that kind of stuff. So, anyway. Well, that's an interesting discussion. Also, of note, <laughs> I'll and send it to way, you next time. You guys have Sorry. your own private like text chains. I'm not so. offended I was left off of yeah, the conversation. I'm just curious, like, what went into his calculation? I'm not sending this one to Will just Let to Rachel. See. There's got to be context. <laughs> All right, by the way. So before the moment I showed you, it was brought up that a text was sent from one of the hosts to another and not their group text. So then that's what they're discussing there. Why don't you send it to all of us? A very weird discussion to have live on the air. But to the DeSantis conversation, it is strange to think about what comes next for him. Because he's not going to win the primary. He might even come in third. My expectation is it will be Trump, Haley, DeSantis at the end of the day. Uh... But then what? Does he try to get back in the good graces of Trump? Probably, unfortunately. It's going to be really humiliating to watch. And Trump will probably 
gladly um, pretend like he likes DeSantis again as he swings back and forth with all these people in a very strange manner and his voters just don't seem to care. And so then DeSantis just goes back and is the governor of Florida and pretends like Trump's wonderful after everything. That's going to be brutal, um, but we'll see how it all plays out. Then I have for you a clip at a different event in Iowa where DeSantis gets confronted about his lack of a willingness to address gun violence. And yes, the fact that he doesn't answer this question is interesting, but I kind of expected that. More so take note of, because we know he doesn't want to implement more common sense gun regulations. He actually wants to loosen, can you imagine, gun regulations even further. So that is not the headline here to me. Instead, it's just how strange he comes off while he's trying to interact like a normal human with this voter. Take a look. Who, and you, who or where are you from? What are you doing here? You what? Okay. Well, first of all, you're learning to spew propaganda. Okay. So you should stop that. All right. Do we have any Iowans who have a... Listen, again, most importantly, it's aggravating that he wouldn't address the question and is saying that because I guess this individual wasn't an Iowan, he's not going to address the very real subject of gun violence. But also, why is he touching his face so much and <laughs> rubbing his nose and scratching his face? Just take a breath, think I'm a normal person, I'm a normal person, I'm a normal person, and then have the conversation. See how that goes, Ron. Um, and again, I don't know if it's the strangeness of his personality and the fact that he would be a bad president that bothers Republican voters. I think they more so are just jumping on the Trump train, but I'll pretend like that's why, because it makes me feel like the world makes more sense. Uh, then final clip we'll look at here. DeSantis points out something that's absolutely true about Trump, but he's probably going to jump right back into this after he drops out of the race. He cares about you can be the most worthless Republican in America but if you kiss the ring, he'll say, you're wonderful. You can be the strongest, most dynamic, uh, successful Republican and conservative in America. But if you don't kiss that ring, then he'll try to trash you. You know what? You deserve a nominee that's going to put you first, not himself first. Okay. So it's true. Trump will say you're wonderful if you say he's wonderful. The second that you say he's not wonderful, then Trump's going to say you're the worst, no matter the facts of who you are or your record or anything like that. But I expect DeSantis eventually will drop out of the race. Trump will become the nominee. DeSantis will start praising Trump. Trump will start praising DeSantis and it'll all be very awkward, but the voters won't care. That's my expectation. We'll play this clip. We'll say, look at what DeSantis said. Now he's doing the exact thing and the exact reactions happening that he called out, but it won't make any difference. I'll leave it there on DeSantis. Again, we'll be discussing the other candidates today as well.